Hey, Mike here, AKA The Cloud Coach. This is part two of our Terraform crash course. What we're gonna be looking at today is we're gonna be creating a virtual private cloud and we're gonna be using Terraform in order to apply that for us. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we need is we need a resource block. So this tells Terraform that we're actually now creating a resource within our provider AWS. So what would the type be? Well, in this case, we're gonna be creating an AWS VPC, and we're just gonna call it primary. Or let's call it main. We're just gonna call it main. And this is telling Terraform that we wanna create a resource that's an AWS VPC, and the internal name within Terraform itself is going to be main. That's not the name of the VPC, it's not the tag that goes on the VPC, that is simply that the internal name that we will reference this VPC within our Terraform code. We need to provide more than just AWS VPC main. So let's go ahead and add our CIDR block. And we're going to go with 10. Dot, let's go with 10.1.0.0 slash 16. Okay, so that's going to give us a slash 16 network, which is a very, very large network but that's gonna be sufficient for our, for our needs. We're just demonstrating at this point in time. And we're also gonna apply some tags to the resource as well. These are AWS tags on the VPC, and we're gonna provide the name. Okay, and we're just gonna call it um, the Cloud Coach Testing VPC. And that is actually the name that will appear in the AWS console. Okay, so we've written some code. Let's validate it. Is it valid? Are we correct? Have we done everything right? Yes, okay. So that means that the Terraform is happy with our code. That doesn't necessarily mean AWS is happy with our code. It does mean that Terraform is happy with our code. The syntax is correct. So what happens now if we do a plan? Will we actually see something different from last time? Yeah, we will actually. So it's gonna refresh the state and then it's gonna say, hey, there's things to be changed here. And in this case, it's gonna be AWS VPC main will be created and as we can see, there's our CIDR block, and here's our tags. All this known after apply, these are all values like the ID, for example, these are all values that Terraform can't possibly know now because it needs to speak to the AWS API first in order to get those values. Okay, let's just go ahead and do a Terraform apply. Now the apply will actually do the exact same thing as the plan did, it'll go out, it'll refresh the state and determine what needs to be done. In our case now, because we've used apply and not plan, it's saying, do you wanna go ahead and perform these actions? We wanna say, yes. This means that Terraform will now talk to the AWS API and it will actually create that VPC for us, a real resource. And as you can see, after four seconds, that's now returned. We've got our VPC ID here. Great. So in our state file, we have our VPC defined and we actually have it live in an AWS account too. All right, in the next video, we're going to look at internet gateways and we're going to look at creating a subnet as well. See you then.